Hi, first look at my new Solus Inverter Solus Cloud thing. I've got the thing installed, commissioned, and uh, connected via the Wi-Fi dongle thing, which uh, uh, plugs into the bottom of the uh, USB port, and it's connected to my home network, so I can access this anywhere in the world now. So let's just have a look at here, because um, I was trying to <laughs> debug a problem, which... It, I still currently have, trust me, it was working a minute ago, but I'll show you why it's not working in a minute. I wanted, it's currently 12.30pm, uh, so it's within my three hour free charging window. So obviously I want to um, charge my new 75 kilowatt hour battery, home storage battery. Um, it, it, I want to use as much energy, I want to charge the EV and uh, also the home storage battery during that free three hour window which apparently um, they just announced uh, a few days ago that they're going to offer to everyone now everyone in Australia regardless your energy retailer is supposed to now um, have an option for if, if you want to join like they have to have a plan option where there's a three hour energy window per day because we've just got too much solar here in Australia um, so yeah we have to use it um, <laughs> because it, when we installed all the solar here it didn't have the ability to curtail it and switch it off and stuff so anyway so they want people to use it so um, I want to charge that so here's the display it's pretty groovy here um, so I've got my PV up it the sun just peaked out um, at the moment I've got the AC coupling uh, that'll be coming from the phase system but I think that's just the residual from the phase system I'm not sure I still haven't figured out the gen port which is connected to my uh, two panel Hoy Miles micro inverters still haven't figured that out but I think anyway AC coupling I think that's coming from the phase uh, system or the residual of it um, the battery of course uh, whether or not it's it's doing nothing at the moment actually um, and we might see why in a minute um, and the grid there's two kilowatts coming in from the grid um that's interesting because the battery's shut off for some reason anyway um <laughs> the grid load here um is um we're charging the ev at the moment so this is on the so that will show up as grid load here and the backup load is the rest of the house so um you know, family's home at the moment so they're taking 3.8 kilowatts in the house so you know they've probably i don't know they might have an air con or something like that that's more than normal e e mrs ev blog could be cooking something or thing, things like that. Anyway, now I thought I had set up the uh, timer, uh, the charge timer for the battery, because it's got two charge timers where during that window, it should start charging, full charging the battery. And it wasn't. So I was trying to find it where that was in the cloud and why that wasn't working. I finally found it. I looked at a tutorial video on the Solus uh, YouTube channel, but it was out of date. <laughs> so it was like two years ago and it looks and feels different. So I'll show you where to change the um, charge timer. So let's go into device over here. We have to go into device and we've got our inverter and you can like the data, data logger is like that Wi-Fi uh, adapter -y, um, thing. They call it a data logger. Um, and so we need to go into the inverter here. And if we go into the inverter, that just gives us a similar display over here, but it gives us some graphs and we can, you know, do some fancy graphing and stuff. Haven't really played around with that uh, at all yet. But um, if we go up to inverter control, this button up here, inverter control. So let's go into that. And it was not obvious where the charge timer was. It was supposed to be here. It'd be so nice if it was just here, like charge timer, please. And that's what it was in the old version of software, but they changed it. So we have to go into, I think, storage mode. Da -da -da. Twiddle your thumbs, takes a bit of time to update. Come on, you can do it. And it's down here, charge and discharge slot. They call it a slot, so uh, <laughs> whatever. So we can go in here and we can view what it's currently um, at, or we can uh, set it. I do actually want to change it because I've been fiddling with it um, just <laughs> before I started this video. So we've got two uh, charge timers and I originally had this set from here it is charge timer one from 11 a.m. I originally had that set to uh, 2 p.m. so let's actually well I can't type that so we'll change that to two o'clock and 150 amps 150 amps at um, 53 volts like nominal battery battery voltage that's around about the eight kilowatt um, limit there so I've just set uh, a nominal 150 amps and I originally I think why it wasn't working <laughs> today is because this was set the state of charge was set to 21 percent and the battery is 
already higher than that. The batteries are currently 50, 60% or something. Um, so yeah, it wasn't gonna charge. So I've set that to 100%. And so if the battery is not 100% during that free three hour window, say that three times quickly, free three hour window <laughs> it'll charge the battery if it's even at 99 percent, it'll still actually charge it and i want to disable i was just mucking around with this charge timer slot too so i'm gonna disable that and um that should work there is a time period conflict oh god what but but it's disabled is that a that's that's a bug right <laughs> It's it's disabled. There should be no conflict whatsoever. <laughs> there should be none. So zero 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 zero. Okay. Right. Yeah. Small bug there. Command successful. There we go. RS four eighty five command. Boom boom boom. Look at that. Shows you the actual command sent. But looks so. is that the actual? That's the actual RS four eighty five command sent. That's useful, I guess. So um, now, unfortunately, it won't update. I, I did this before and it didn't update live. So I'm going to have to probably wait a bit. Maybe like there's a five minute window where it updates or something. But yeah, it. I immediately changed it before and it didn't um, reflect here. But trust me, but just before I started shooting the video, it was actually charging at like seven and a half, eight kilowatts or something like that. So. I'll pause this and I'll get back to you when it's actually working. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that only took like less than five minutes or something and it's updated again. And now we're charging Ta -da! at uh, eight kilowatts there. So I'm using my uh, free three hour window and we've got 4.7 from the solar. Uh, we've got some AC coupled stuff as well. And uh, the EV is still charging there. Now we're pulling 11 kilowatts from the grid beauty um, because it's free i don't pay for it uh, it's coming from everyone else's solar at the moment as well as mine uh, of course so this uh solar s system in terms of uh, usability and setting up it's not easy it's probably not for your average joe it's not like a tesla system or something like that even though i've never used one i have seen you know apparently it's pretty easy but yeah it looks like i can do stuff so winner winner chicken dinner i can do that remotely I've st i still don't really understand the AC coupled thing and because there's no like other gen port option or something like that that I can find yet I don't know if you know how exactly I'm doing that leave it in the comments down below but yeah it's a bit weird how they've implemented uh, the AC couple was tied to some other option or something and I, I didn't like the way that was um, set up that could actually be coming from in like the actual gen port but if it is then I don't well I want that but I also want the AC coupled to come from the end phase system as well so I haven't still haven't verified that that is a hundred percent operational yet but anyway it's good enough for Australia I'm charging my battery it's currently at 51 percent of my 75 kilowatt hours there and it's charging at uh eight eight kilowatts beautiful look at that um the inverter will be getting a bit warm but eh, eh, that's why it's got a fan on it right <laughs> How, how long it lasts i don't know heard good things about the solace they're pretty reasonable apparently so we'll see but there you go that is just like a sort of first day update i'm still troubleshooting i'm still learning this whole thing and but i seem to have nailed the timer anyway beauty catch you next time